Hi, it's Ed with a look at what to expect from Congress after the spring recess. Let's start by looking at the Marketplace Fairness Act, which is DC speak for the Internet Sales Tax Bill. It's important to remember that this bill doesn't create any new taxes, it just makes it easier for states to collect taxes that are already due from sales by remote sellers. We continue to be optimistic that some version of Marketplace Fairness can find a path through the House by the end of the year. Congressman Jason Chaffetz is working on a version of the bill he thinks can win House Republican support, as well as support of those who back the Senate version. NAD supports Congressman Chaffetz's effort to find a bill that can pass the House. As long as it levels the playing field for our members, we're all for it. Having said that, don't be surprised if nothing moves until after the November elections. Conventional wisdom takes root in D.C. faster than I take to a bar stool. And conventional wisdom says that Republicans should take the majority in the Senate November elections. If you're a Republican, why hurry to pass bipartisan legislation before the election when you can craft your own bill next year? Sure, the president might veto it, but let him. You have a chance to do things your way, and you haven't had that chance for a long time. So the GOP may not be in a hurry to pass anything this year. Next, where are we on LIFO repeal? A number of House Republicans have somehow been convinced that LIFO is a tax break that can go away without a lot of heartache for them. We need to take advantage of the election year gridlock to unconvince them, so we can save LIFO when tax reform eventually happens in the future. Tax reform isn't going anywhere this year for a lot of the same reasons we just talked about. But we often see discussion drafts for bills start from versions of the bills that have been discussed in the past. The fact that House Ways and Means Committee Chair Dave Camp called for LIFO repeal is troubling in the extreme. It's another issue we'll need to continue to hammer over the course of 2014. And lots of our members are justifiably concerned about renewing the EPACT 179D commercial buildings tax deduction. We still remain cautiously optimistic. The Senate Finance Committee has considered legislation that would extend a number of expired tax breaks, and 179D made it on the list. We expect the Senate to act on this extender's bill late April to early May. The holdup, once again, will be in the House. There's not a lot of love among House Republicans for tax carve-outs. We'll need to keep on them and make sure they act on these critical issues. Go to NAD.org slash tell Congress. For letters to Congress, you can customize or send as is to tell your elected officials that waiting might be politically advantageous for them, but it hurts our business. Push them to pass tax fairness and to support energy efficient buildings and push them to keep their hands off LIFO. Thanks for your time today and thanks for supporting NAD.